Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you four tips to rank higher in Google Maps. Watch this. Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you four tips to rank higher on Google Maps in 2020. We're going to optimize the GMB. I'm going to show you how to optimize your website. I'm going to show you the best local directories for your area, and then we're going to blast this shit. Hey guys, if you get any value out of this video, please feel free to donate to my channel. Link is below. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you one of my clients, which is Hunterton Pulmonary and Sleep Associates. They're located in uh, Flemington, New Jersey. So if you're in Flemington, New Jersey, and you just type in pulmonary doctors, you'll sh you'll see that they're number one let me just show you a couple of things we did first of all we made sure that the gmb was verified we verified the gmb that's where you sign up for your gmb by going to google uh, google.com slash business and uh, you verify your gmb uh, you, you put in your information uh, i'm sorry and uh, uh, Google will send you a postcard with uh, a code on it and you'll go back to your GMB and just verify your code. Once your code is verified, you're ready to go. However, prior to getting a code, you could still upload pictures. Uh, you could still, you could uh, add your hours. You could do basic stuff like that, but you have to wait to get verified uh, to do posts and other things like that. But let's just go through this real quick. Okay, so this is the GMB, and like I said, you want to make sure that you're verified. If we go to the info section, you want to make sure that everything is filled out. You want to fill out all your hours, put in your service areas, put in your address. Now, you'll notice that the address is 4 Walter E. East Foreign Boulevard, number 101 Flemington, New Jersey. You must make sure that on the website you have the same address, meaning that it should say number the same way the number sign 101, not just East Foreign, uh, Foreign Boulevard, Flemington, New Jersey. Make sure you have the number and 101. Don't put sweet if it doesn't say sweet inside. So go check your GMB right now and make sure that it's correct. All right, areas you service. Um, put your hours, if you have additional hours. Now, Google added a couple of things here, COVID-19 link, and also a virtual care link and a menu link. This is all due to COVID-19. So take a look in your in your GMB and see for your category if you have it. If you do, you're going to need pages created for those links okay so i would create those pages for those links it's very important when you're doing your google posts one of the things that i do is i add the keyword to the image so for example huntington asthma doctors I'll also put in the address and the phone number and put the logo. So when you do a post, don't just put your picture. Make sure you put the logo, the keyword, as well as the address, the NAP, name, address, and phone number. Okay. You put your description. Once again, you put your NAP and we link out to tumblr we have a tumblr account for this one we 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 link out to the maps uh we do a couple of things here but you know that's some some advanced stuff i'm just trying to keep it as short as possible all right so that's what you do for the gmb also guys when you're in your google my business make sure you have the proper category the right category categories are right here so you'll notice that I changed my location as you know I'm in Tampa Florida but I use this program this extension called a uh, 
a GS location changer, meaning that when I do a Google search, it'll show that I'm in Flemington, New Jersey. See, it's just a little extension for, uh, uh, for Google. So when I do a Google search and I type in pulmonary doctors, it shows my IP address that I'm searching from, um, um, I'm searching from Flemington, New Jersey. You notice that my client is up here on top and they're also number one. But the point, the point what I'm trying to show you is that prior to designing their website, if you don't have any tools, take a look at what other people are using in their description and in their title tag. So I noticed the word pulmonary a couple of times, the word physician, right? Google sees this as is important, so they bold it. And I make sure that I use these keywords on my page. See, once again, pulmonary and physician. So if you're not ranking for a certain keyword that you're trying to rank for, type the keyword into Google and look to see what your competition has on their, in, in their description and in their title tag. This is the title tag here in purple and the description is below. See, internal medicine. So then we go to our website and you'll notice we use the word top. We put a, put a top, we put a modifier in there, pulmonary doctors in Flemington, New Jersey, pulmonary and sleep. This is called the H1 tag. So you wanna make sure that you have the, in the H1 tag, you have the keywords that you're trying to rank for. You, you can't just, you shouldn't just put pulmonary doctor, you know? put best, the uh, top pulmonary doctors in your area, which is in this area, it's Flemington, New Jersey. And then we wrote a little uh, paragraph right there. So that's called your H1 tag. You have your title tag, which is in the meta description. And then you have your description tag. You want to use those keywords, pulmonary doctors in both. And you want to use the town this town is Flemington, New Jersey. You want to use those in the title tag, the description, and in your H1 tag. All right, I hope that's clear. So if you're still having trouble ranking in the Google 3-pack, uh, meaning that your GMB is perfect, you've made all the changes to your GMB, everything's filled out properly, you have the right categories, you're posting, you're putting images in the post with the keyword, the nap, and the logo, your on-page optimization is great using the keywords that I showed you before that your competition is using and what Google sees relevant, then one of your issues may be that you're not showing a re enough relevance in your local area. So let me show you a little trick that you could do. If you go to Google and you type in URL semicolon the type of business you have, I put in doctors, plus Flemington, New Jersey, your area, right? It could be uh, locksmiths, plus Cape Coral, Florida, plus business directory, right? Or URL semicolon, plumbers, plus uh, New York City, plus business directory. You're going to get all the business directories in that area. What you want to do is get a link on that website. So you'll notice that webhunterton chamber this is the chamber site. I'm not going to click each one of these, but you'll notice, look, Business Finder, Health Grades, Huntington Happening Magazine, right? You would never know that there is a Happenings Magazine in Huntington, My Central Jersey, you see that? Business Directory, Love Flemington. All right, nj.gov. And yeah, it takes a little searching around, but you know, maybe you could contribute something to that website from your website. And then at the end of the article, just provide a link back or the, uh, the, the, uh, the end of the um, comment that you that you make for more information go to uh, 
you know, Huntington Pulmonary uh, Sleep dot com go to your website dot com and if you get enough links in your area google's going to see you as significant in your area and your ranking is going to start to increase all right i hope i explained that correctly you want to make sure that google sees relevance in your area where you're where, where you're doing business and the way to do that is to get into local directories that are in your area. Okay, guys, so we're up to the blast the shit page uh, part. Okay, real simple. So what you want to do is you just want to go to Google, type in your domain name. In this case, it's Huntington Pulmonary and Sleep. Mine is Mindsaw. And you want to see the citations that are are already pointing to your website and so in this case we have a Facebook citation you see number one number two is a map quest number three is a better business bureau so for example I would take the better business bureau because I know the page authority uh, can be improved page authority is a score Google gives to show um, to show how trusted that page is the way it shows how that it's trusted is uh, does it have good links being pointed to that page right okay so what I would do to bring up the page authority and give that page more juice and in turn give my website more juice because I have my link uh, Huntington pulmonary on the better business bureau.org website so I want to pump that page up right I want to put that page the BBB site on steroids I'll just go over to a site and I use Fiverr and I'm not ashamed to say it I'll type in SEO backlinks and I'll find the service look 174 people have used it 4.9 now I will never point Fiverr links back to my website however I will point those links to a BBB site. So the page that I'm located on right here, I'll just click that link and then I'll send it over to Fiverr and I'll go send 300 links to that page and I'll increase the page authority of the Better Business Bureau website page that I'm that that my link is on and that in turn will strengthen the link juice coming back to my website which will in turn increase my rankings so don't be afraid to go to better to the better business bureau go to the map quest go to the Facebook page right over here is vitals right and just go over to Fiverr don't go crazy with it I mean because this could get expensive you know just pick a couple of pages and throw some links at it just to raise the page authority and I guarantee that will that will increase your rankings and the other good thing is that if somebody types in Huntington pulmonary and sleep or types in uh, pulmonary doctors these links will be in the organic listings and you'll knock out your competition I did a video on that about two years ago where uh, I typed in uh, Staten Island website design and when somebody typed in Staten Island website design my mind source site came up as well as uh, I think are six or seven other links like my Facebook page came up my uh, 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 might be my better business bureau my tumblr page uh, because I associated that all with Staten Island website design. So when somebody typed, typed in Staten Island, I knocked out all my competition. Uh, it just, after a while, it starts to fall off. So, you know, just make it like a monthly task just to point links at your uh, citation pages like your web 2.0s and your social media pages. Just point some links at those pages and it'll increase your page authority and in turn that page authority will be uh, passed on to your website 
and your ranks will start to uh, come up. The good thing about it is you don't have to worry about a Google suspension because you're using these links as a buffer, right? You're pointing the links at the, at the Better Business site, not at your website. So you don't have to worry about getting, uh, getting your website sandboxed. That's where Google uh, takes your website and says, hey, you've been spamming, and they take you off Google. So you have to be careful with that. Um, so you, you, you never want to point bad links or crazy links at your website, but point them at the BBB site. Blast them. Blast them. Or, you know, your Facebook page or so on, your Tumblr page. You know, your Strikingly page, your, your Google blog, uh, stuff like that. You know, point, point those links there, and that'll, that'll raise your rankings. All right, I'm sorry I have to say it so many times, but I have to say it different ways so people understand. Guys, thank you very much for uh, watching my video. And uh, if you could please contribute uh, $2.99 for this lesson if you learned anything. If not, you know, uh, please feel free to uh, share it on your social media. Uh, my name is Brett Moletta. My email address is brettmoletta at gmail.com. Please feel free. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the uh, comment box below and I'll answer them. Or you could shoot me over an email. You know, that, that's fine. And uh, please stay safe and uh, don't forget, you know, Take care of the people in your family because uh, they love you and uh, they're doing everything they could uh, to make you happy. So uh, give them a nice big hug and a kiss and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.